But how, what would it be like for the world in general if nothing cost anything? Do you think people would go to work? <laughs> See, I think people, some people would, because I think people need work. Uh, gives their lives structure, meaning, identity. I, I, I mean, I'm a writer, so I write stuff and I have no idea if it's going to sell, but I write it because it means something to me. What do you think about that? Do you do anything? Uh, that to make money that you would do for free. Have you ever done stuff that you would do um, for free? I sold cookies before. Would you do it for free? Mm, I mean, like I don't really know because, like, I I mostly did it to uh, for money. So and it, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Well, what about other things you did earlier? Like, you used to have fairs. You used to sell kits that you would put together. You used to make books that you would Those sell. Those were free. Now. Yeah, but you didn't, I mean, you even, even though you wrote the books and illustrated them to sell, you did it without any expectation of making money. What's the deal about that? Can you talk about that? I mean, that was like so many years ago, I barely remember. But you nonetheless did it, and it was you who did it. What was it about doing it in and of itself? You did, the, the bookstore lady did let you sell them, but you didn't do it for that reason. You, you put a lot of time and energy and creativity and passion in it. Why? Why would anybody do that? Uh, I guess I enjoyed it. Why do you spend hours and hours and hours with gymnastics? Uh, because I enjoy it and because I do competition. Mm, how much does it cost you? To me, free. Do you think teachers who teach that make a lot of money? Not that much. Not that much. So they don't do it totally for free, but they don't make a lot of money. That guy's following us, the dude with the horn. So what what do you think, um, what kinds of things would you do or make or whatever for free? Uh, I might do like something for cats, like to, like for homeless cats and stuff. What would you do? I would like... Like, give them a house or something, or like get them owners or something. And you wouldn't do it for the money, even if you made money? I mean, I, I like cats a lot. You would uh, have to feed them, that's going to cost yeah. money. Shelter costs money. All those things taking care of them, getting their shots, getting the cleaning lady to come. Oh, I think you'd be the cleaning lady. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Would you still do it if you had to? What if you had to somehow raise money, whether it's selling cookies or whatever, to cover all that cost, and you didn't, you personally didn't make a penny, would you still do it? Yes. Because? Cats are so cute. Where we used to live, they had so many stray cats. Where we live now, people love cats. And so, but still there's always cats that need a home and need care. And dogs and all those kinds of things. So, so I mean, right now, a lot, a lot is free in your life, right? <laughs> what if it was? What if Dad didn't have to worry about money? It's Corona time. It's Corona time. I know a lot of people who basically do live for free. My dad was cheated out of millions of dollars because somebody wanted to live for free off of my dad's hard work. So thanks. So uh, lots of people want to live for free, and they're willing to do anything. But I think. Earning, earn isn't earning important? Don't you yeah. want to feel like you earned something? Mm -hmm. But does earning mean money? I'm trying to understand earning and free. Like, can you can you earn without uh, feeling? Yeah, like without feeling like the earn has to translate into money of some kind. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, you got to make money in this society. Would you rather have a society where the money was out of the? picture that money wasn't part of the equation? I don't even know right now. I mean, it would be much easier, but it also would be very different. There are societies where people have tried to f come together around agreement. I'll do this, you do that, we'll take turns, and uh, money won't be part of it. There are societies that lived on trading things. Still not free, because you give things a value. So we're talking again about value, best value. Um, what do you think about that? I 
afternoon. Well, where'd the question come from? You just th threw the question out of me. That's why I stopped and I wanted to have the Socrates Cafe with you. We haven't done one in a while. <laughs> what made you? What made you think of the question? But it was two for one. <gasps> it was two for one, so it was a pretty good deal, right? And plus mine was free. And those workers, they're working, they're risking their lives right now in Corona time to, to give it for us. So we give them tips, we take care of them, right? Uh -huh. Yes, we do. So, um, do you think, what would it be like for those workers who work there? if they didn't get paid. Do you think they'd still want to go there and work? They get up, they open at six in the morning. I know your preference is to work Burger King drive through but still. But uh, you prefer Starbucks drive through Which one, if you had to choose, Starbucks or Burger King drive through Starbucks. to work for free, which one would you do? Starbucks. Even if you had to get up at five in the morning? No. But no, these people do, and they don't, they don't pay them very much, believe it or not. What would you do? I mean, what would you do that's considered work? What would you do for free? That you uh, cat shelter. Cat shelter. What up? Anything else? Mm, I don't know. Well, this is fascinating. What would it be like if the world was totally free? What if shelter, food? Would people still work? Would they want to work? No. I think many people would. My dad missed work so much so much. Um, it gave his life so much meaning and he was used, he'd been working since he was seven years old. Um, I've been working since I was about eight or nine so I, I like work. I like work. Um, there's no guarantee the kind of work I choose quite often that I'll make any money and quite often I do work that's what's called slave wages. You, you're paid so little and yet you do it because it means so much to you and to, the, to others, to my students when I teach as an adjunct or something like that. What else, what would you maybe teach for free? used to do a D DIYs on YouTube. They take uh, a lot of time. Maybe like gymnastics or something. Yeah. Well, I've learned how to cut my own hair, so maybe I'll give hair really? cuts for free. Oh, um, I'm a professional. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. You want me to cut your hair? No. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, but what would you do for free? What would it be like if the world was free? To be continued. Callie and I hadn't done a Socrates Cafe for a long time. But she thought of the question, and I just had to do it. Happy, happy, Christmas? So, happy <laughs> Socratizing, <laughs> happy Christmas. Santa's gonna get her for that.